y'all. This is a human hair wig I got, and I haven't cut the lace off. And I haven't done anything to it. I just took it out the package. It has a uh, look like a right side part. So I'm going to wash it and condition it. That's what you have to do with um, human hair wigs, the wavy wigs. So I'm just showing you how it looks now. Straight out the pack. I mean, I could put product in it and make it look decent. But I'm going to wash it and make it look as good as possible. Let's turn it around. It's a short wig. See, like that. Tag still on it. And it's not going to look like that. That's a different wig she has on. Okay. It'll be fixed when you see it again. Hi, honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Welcome to Wig Wednesday. I know it's Thursday. <laughs> okay, today I'll be reviewing this wig. It doesn't really have a name, but it's a 10 inch lace front Brazilian wig. Okay, and this is how it looks. Of course, it didn't come looking like this in the package when I first got it. So, let's get to it. So, I'll put a clip of how it looked when I first got it. Okay. It came in this packaging. It's called Bow Art. And, like I said, it's 10 inches. And it's like the ombre color with the dark at the top and the brownish red at the ends. Okay, so it only comes with a little bit of parting area right there. So that's the right side. Yeah, it's the right side part. I guess you can center it and make it a middle part. So I've already cut off the lace. I don't know why it had so much lace. It only got this much parting area. So, okay. I don't have to measure it because it's 10 inches. It has this type of wig cap construction. Where did glitter come from? Okay. And the hair is sewn on wefts. The wefts are sewn onto the wig cap. It has two combs on each side. There's one and here's one. Little bitty combs. And one at the back. Along with two adjustable straps. Okay. Turn it back. So, I washed, well, I co-washed it. And I used some um, Mixed Chicks conditioner on it. And I rinsed it out. And I just towel dried it. I never rubbed the hair. Just gently squeezed the water out of it with a towel. So, I'm going to, and I put some got to be kinkier curling mousse in it while it was still dripping wet. So I'm going to put some in it now so you can see how it does. I was out in it yesterday and the wind was blowing through it. So I'm going to revive it.
And this dries fast and it's not gonna dry white. It's invisible. I didn't bring my wet brush in here. That's how it looks. Let me go get my brush. Okay, I went and found my Denman brush. And right now it's still damp. But if you want it more fluffy, like I had mine yesterday, you can let it dry some and then kind of scrunch it into place. But it looks just like the picture. Okay, so I'm going to put it on, put this top on here, and I have this uh, wig grip that has the lace insert in it. I think this was $8.99. I wasn't paying $20 or $25 for one of these little things. Okay, I got a little hint of a part over here, so it has a right side part, so I'm putting it over here. I put a little powder on that lace part. When you wear a wig grip, always put the folded edge close to your hairline, and the part with the where it's been sewn toward the back. So your wig will not slip. If you put it the other way around, your wig will slip for some reason. Okay. Put the neck part over there. I'm only attaching this back comb up under the wig grip and up under my, oh, I got a tucked under braid. I don't go for all them French braids and things. Okay, it's kind of flat now. And I like this side. I like this to be my high side and I like it more fluffed out, which it will do once it's dry. But I like it. I like to show my earrings. Let me put some uh, powder in this part. And I'm using a little bitty brush. Should have had a mirror. That's, that's, that's enough. And I should have had some black gel for my edges, but I don't have any right now. And it came with, I think it's two, two wig caps, which I never use, so I got a bunch of these. Okay, I just wanted to uh, show y'all how you can rejuvenate it with some mousse. But it does get fluffier as it dries. It was very fluffy yesterday. It's still damp. Okay, well that's my review for this Bow Art 100% Remy Human Hair Wig. It's Brazilian, it's 10 inch Brazilian, I mean 10 inch Brazilian bob. What does it say on here? Okay, Bow Art 10 inches short curly lace front human hair wig. 
130% density ombre, black to brown, Brazilian Afro human hair wig for black women. Why do they say black women? Lace, hand tied, deep L parting, natural real hair wigs. So I got it from Amazon and I'll leave the link and it also comes in all black. And I got one, another brand, it's in all black. So this is a little different, but I'm lighting the, sh I'm liking the shorter bobs now. So I don't know about this color on me. So let me show y'all how it looks in the back. This is the right side. See the parting. The back. Waves. This is the left side. Okay. Like I said, I'll leave the link to this wig in the description box. And this one was $58.99. And it comes with a $3 coupon that you can check on Amazon. Okay. I want to thank you all for watching. Leave a nice comment, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed day. Okay. I got no stock cards, so I hope this up. That ain't gonna work.